begins, the most precious moment, the result of incalculable actions and reactions, trials and errors, genetic mutations and unknowable combinations, chaos, all leading to a living, breathing, thinking being, an entity, distinct and unique. And now we, you, just manufacture them. So well done, I guess. The Hammond Foundation has three main areas of interest, security, entertainment, and science. I've already nudged the heads of each division to reach out to you personally. They'll offer opportunities and incentives for you to be part of their team. Choose one of their contracts. It'll help you develop your facility. This is Lambert, head of security. Yours, theirs, and mine. Welcome to the islands. So here's our basic conundrum. We want to keep our animals under control while simultaneously encouraging instinctive behaviors because these animals have potential as combatants. Look, everyone's fear object, myself included, is to have these animals running free and loose in the park. But we can't exploit them globally without taking some chances. Contracts can be requested from the division heads inside the control room. Complete these to increase your reputation and gain additional revenue to keep expanding your park. So, one more thing. Your reputation. Your rep, quote-unquote. Keep an eye on it, okay? If you have a solid reputation with a division, you're more likely to benefit from them. Financially, I mean. But, like life, it's a balancing act. Each division is vying for your attention, and if they don't get it, they tend to take it personally. And you'll notice absolutely no hint of sarcasm. Unless you listen real closely. <laughs> so what I meant to say is that completing that contract has raised your standing. Your reputation, if you will, with the security division. This means they'll be willing to give you more difficult missions. here. I've got a new assignment that I think is perfect for your skill set. Give it a once over, then let me know if you're interested. Glad to have you on board. As you can imagine, the animals in the various facilities are constantly probing for weaknesses in our security systems. They're smarter and more devious than people give them credit for but I refuse to underestimate their capabilities. That's why I'm always testing and evaluating our security protocols and barriers. And this is where you come in. I've got to give this guy Lambert his due. He actually sees these animals as both opportunity and threat. I'm going to need you to extract enough DNA from fossils to incubate and hatch a dinosaur. This is the first phase of this mission. Carry on. An expedition center will allow you to send dig teams around the world in search of new dino fossils. DNA can be extracted from these fossils 
which our scientists can then turn into living, breathing dinosaurs. And that's our true lifeblood. Your first expedition team is out. They'll bring back what they find to the fossil center for extraction. Your job is simple, really. Create dinosaurs which attract visitors to your facilities, brings in capital, money, huh? Which means you can do more research to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs, and there you go. A circle of life, development and resources, nature and commerce. See? Simple. The fossil center lets you extract DNA from fossils and amber in order to create new dinosaur genomes. Exciting! You should extract genomes from fossils that have been collected inside your fossil center. That will increase the amount of viable data you have to create dinosaurs. The research center lets you improve your park in various exciting ways. New buildings, upgrades, and more await. I'm Owen Grady, Owen to my friends. I've seen things I'd rather not talk about, but it hasn't dampened my commitment to the dinosaurs. The raptors, more generally, and me and Blue specifically. We have a special relationship, like what I have with Claire. Less complicated. Anyway, nice to meet you.
Our existence is the constant evaluation of threats and opportunities. And this looks like a good opportunity.